Tell them said this is a warning We not care where you come from It's a new dawning Tell the people of South Africa Revolutions rising Look to the east and the west Upon the horizon Tell your friend, tell your mother Tell your cousin It's a new generation We not afraid of nothing One with liberation from capitalist prison Don't call me West Indian may come from the model And this is a warning this is a warning. This is a warning. This is a warning. This is a warning. You ready? I am a poet. I am a monodramatist. I am an educator. I'm here in South Africa for many, many reasons. But I think the two reasons that stand out the most to me are I'm here for the people and I'm here for the stories. And I feel like people make culture come alive. People make the possibility for change come alive. And so South Africa and Cape Town for me is first and foremost about the incredible mix of people who are here and what that produces. And so for me to be here is a coming home. A coming home to two things, the people and to the stories. And so the Sorplusi method or the Sorplusi principles are for me a, partly a gift that has been given to me by my mother who started theorizing survival poetry and started looking at dub poetry in Jamaica and wondering how could theory around dub help the people to know themselves. The principles can help South African artists relearn themselves in a complicated uh, legacy, relearn themselves as African, relearn themselves as the different nations of people who congregate here, relearn themselves as a collective society. Really what we're looking at is how better can we learn how to love ourselves and love each other. The eight surplusy principles, these considerations are self-knowledge, orality, rhythm, political content and context, language, urgency, sacredness, and integrity. And that might seem to be something very colossal, but when you break it down, we're looking at being accountable and being responsible. So self-knowledge deals with learning about yourself. Orality deals with communicating with people. Rhythm deals with identifying the cyclical ecosystem that we're a part of. Content and context deals with asking yourself, am I talking about something that's important to me? And if I'm not talking about something that's important to me in my art, why am I talking about it? Language deals with identifying that sometimes there can be linguistic boundaries. How am I as an artist going to negotiate through that? Urgency deals with looking at what is happening in our world and actually trying to address it. Sacredness deals with remembering that ultimately, if life is not sacred, how can we then attempt to address the choices that we have made in the past that disrespects life? And finally, those seven principles culminate into this idea of integrity. Like what does it mean to you to say, you have integrity, then I think we can engage in a dialogue of hope. That's what the principles are about. Self-knowledge, orality, rhythm, political content and context, language, urgency, sacredness and integrity form an ecosystem of accountability and responsibility between me and you.